children to, to, to sing or say the responses. It, would, it was like a demonstrated liturgy. I would show them how we did the prothesis, you know, when we prepared the bread and what it meant, and I would ask everybody to stand up and give me their commemorations, which we did, and it was so meaningful with 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 with, with the children. Uh, there is one funny story I wouldn't mind telling you. That uh, one time I was I was uh, t talking with a, with a Greek priest, and uh, he t I asked him, "What did you do?" On Lazarus Saturday, he said, he says, I read the gospel and I say, Oh Lazarus, please come out. And of course, everybody laughed in the church. But think about it for a minute, what this gospel means. That Lazarus was there for four days. And one of the most poignant sentences in the gospel, in, in the whole gospel, was that he stunk. He stinketh. To remind us of the corruptibility <coughs> and the miracle of the resurrection, Jesus tarried on purpose. The sisters were weeping and gnashing their teeth. And there's another point, they were friends of Jesus. Jesus had friends. And they were his friends. And the whole area, area was weeping for the death of Lazarus, who must have been a very important person. And when Jesus brought him out, the wrappings fell away. There was his incorruptible body. Pointing to the resurrection that when people say, why do we, why do we not cremate? Because we believe in the resurrection of the body. We don't believe that, that, that cremation is a uh, rather violent interruption 
Then what is the natural process? And it shows that that in and by and through Christ and in the resurrection we are we are reunited in our body the res we have a resurrected body because our soul has the imprint of our body when we die but it's a very important moral lesson and a, hu and a human lesson that that Jesus tarried, he came, and he brought Lazarus out. In another sentence in that Bible passage, Jesus wept. Why? Because all death is a tragedy. The shortest verse, Jesus wept, and he stinketh. He wept because that was his friend that died. He showed the human, his human nature. His human nature shone forth. And then his divine nature when he brought him out of the tomb. To show the two are one and the one are two. Two wills. Yeah. He wept. And so should we. It's a catharsis when we show emotion when someone dies. I, 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 I've been to funerals and people will say, oh, doesn't he look nice? And I said, who looks nice dead? Oh, you, oh she looks like he's just sleeping, he's going to wake up. Jesus let us know that Oh, death is a human tragedy. And how can we cope with loss if it were not for our friends? Jesus came to Mary and Martha to console them on the loss of their beloved brother Lazarus. Evidently, that was a very tight-knit family. We don't have a whole lot of history of their relationship, but we do know, because they're mentioned several times in the, in the Bible, that they were close to Jesus. And is there anything more important at that moment in our life when we suffer a loss than to have a relationship with Christ who carries us through that awful loss of a loved one. It all death points us to that, that reality. That reality that beyond this our mortal nature, this our mortality, beyond this life, there is a new dimension of being. And all of us will sit will face. Christ, face to face, and he will wipe away all of our tears as we read in the book of Revelation.
salvation. Lazarus 70 is a very rich theological, spiritual celebration in the Orthodox Church. And isn't it great that we can engage our children during these services so that they will have a living memory as they grow up? So that on Palm Sunday, they will cry, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. 